Good morning, good morning, brothers and sisters everywhere. Good morning um, here at Hope of Glory Network Radio, Hope of Glory Network uh, TV on Facebook, Hope of Glory Network Prayer Land. I greet everyone that is watching me and listening to me in the name of our Lord Jesus. God richly bless all of you. God richly bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bohema 
Boy, I have to say. And now you're better than you We're going to talk about dreams. Dreams. What was your dream last night, last week, last month? What dream you have dreamt and is disturbing you? By the grace of God, since we started talking about dreams, people have been calling and um, by the grace of God, we interpret their dreams for them and they are happy now by the grace of God. What is your dream? Udai and is saying. Udai and is saying. Uber to me, I activate two phones. So, oh, Abraham, because if I see your, your, your video activating, we can talk with you. God bless you. And to your mumpire, your bumpire, and I say, the media know your cosswain. Father God, we thank you. We give you glory. Bless your name. We glorify your beautiful name and your wonderful works for today in our lives. I thank you for this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Father, we are in your presence again to digest your word. It is you that give wisdom, understanding, and understanding. We need it. Help us to understand and acquire more knowledge for ourselves and for our lives. We give you glory. We thank you for everyone that is part of this meeting at this moment. In the name of Jesus, we know some people have dreamed and the dream has been tormenting them. Some people are confused because of their dream. Some people are sick because of their dreams. Things are not going on well with people because of their dream. Satan has taken advantage of some people because of their dreams. We break and we destroy every devilish uh, dreams. Every satanic dream that we don't even remember. We destroy it in Jesus' name. We come against every dream that Satan may use against us. Now and in the future, in the name of Jesus. Say, 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 they are soon be a bun some castle of Bajina so they are quite yay. And I'm saying, yeah, one I am Tiasi and Tino. You two as ye a seven something in your ma. A radi yes, Nidunumunti. Amen. Hiya, ya, hallelujah, hallelujah. Man sent Rene, they match. Wama set na yemu and sent Rene and a Juma. Oza, Uyona, Uyona, me upa. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uyona, Uyona, Mene, Mawunusa, Uyona, 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 Oh, 
premier. Alléluia. 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 Famille Oh. Même pas bon et sain. Famille Keep me the Lord. Keep me, O oh Lord. Keep me, O oh Lord. Keep me in your presence. Oh, même pas bon et sain. Famille Famille Adini Jamie, so we are going to interpret dreams. It is dreams and interpretation today. So don't go away and share the page. What was your dream last night? Do you remember the dream that you had last night? That is what we're going to talk about. Today is about people, dreams of people, dreams of relatives, dreams of trade. People like yourself, like your sister, like your brother, relatives, and then people like your friends, your neighbors, People like police, soldier, people like president, politicians. If you dream and you see any of these ones, what does the dream tell you? What is the dream saying to you? Ketri, and the rest of those that I'm not seeing you. I greet you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever your time is. Is dreams and interpretation. What is your dream? Do you remember your dream last night, last week? Some time ago, was your dreams scaring? Was your dream a nightmare? Did you dream and you wake up and you still feel the presence of the dream? Yes, yeah, some people dream. And as soon as they wake up, they feel like it is, it is current. The dream is like, it's life. Teresa, good morning. You see, some people dream and when they wake up from the dream, it's like the thing just happened in a physical and you feel the dream all over your body. All of, you, it's, it's like you, 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 you haven't closed your eyes, but you've seen the dream. You've seen the things, physical. Have you had that dream before? Yes, I have had it before. And sometimes some dream will prompt you to wake up and sit on your bed. Do you know that? Yeah. Some dream can prompt you, wake you up, and, and when, as you wake up, you, you see, because of the nature of the dream, you just sit on your bed. You just sit. And then for some time, you'll be, you, you try to recollect, or you try to remember what the dream is. Sometimes I put stuff here. And I'm looking for it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm looking for my cassette, the cassette tape. The cassette tape, which last time I was showing you, I'll show you where did I put it. So all that I'm saying, your dreams are like the cassette tape that, that we used before. Play music. You see, when you, when you sleep, your soul try to go over the things that you have done and expect and even the things that God will do in your life 
the things that God will do in your life. They are all on fire. They are all on fire. What you have done before and what you will do in the future, they are all on your fire. Your soul fire. Your, your soul has a fire. Okra or file be a keep a record. I was so. And you know, would that a draw na joa na okrano or go through the fast or go through the fast? And you drew a be an apostle, no yatro. You drew a be an hour crano. Now apostle, a revision na oyano. Na or try home for me now at the actual. Now, if you are more, some of them it talks about your life in the future. Some of them it talks about the trap that has been set for you. Because Satan set traps for your soul. And when you are trapped, you may not be a human being again. Or your life may not be the same. When you are trapped in a dream of the devil, it's so serious, dangerous. Open it. Yami shura wati. Enti no, daya diye. Obiya sun daya na daya suwa bai bumo. Na daya biya wa nchira siye. Na yansu daya ni biwa ha. Ew, hu. Daya ni biwa ha. And here then you can't understand it. Na daye ena mo niema bebere su na eba. One one of the ways that dreams comes is when you eat too much before you sleep. <laughs> when you eat too much before you sleep, you dream all kinds of dream. And then sometimes when you are sick, like malaria, you have caught off, fever, it, it, it brings about dreams. When your soul is not at rest, today, we're going to talk about dreams of people like your friend, your teacher, your lawyer, the policeman, a soldier, a politician, a secretary, a farmer, driver. All these are different people. Driver. You, see, you, you dream and you see a driver. Hmm? You, you've seen a driver before, right? And some of you, you have dreamed seeing a policeman policeman either arresting you or arresting someone what about a soldier what about when you dream and you see a farmer and what about when you dream and you see a fisherman these are all different people what about when you dream and you see a mechanic a mechanic we call it fitter <laughs> okay, these are different people. Then, relatives. Dreams of relatives. So, you can dream of people, different people, and you can also dream of relatives. Relatives are your immediate siblings, sister, brothers, or sisters and brothers. And some people also dreams about their friends. Okay? And then some people dream about uncles, cousins, aunties, and so on. So on and so on. So that is all we're going to talk about today. Some people dream about which? Which? By four? By four? Oh, yeah. Some people can dream and they see which. Oh, yes. I have seen it before. Long, long ago. I dreamt and I saw 
which we know in in our culture we understand that when you dream and you see a, 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 a sorry when you when you see fire flying somewhere it's a witch it's not ordinary it's not just like that we understand it's a witch before have you seen that one in your dream before not because you are you are a witch but you saw it i have seen that before God bless you. So, it doesn't matter whether you are a pastor and it doesn't matter what your title you hold. You can be, you can be the right and left bishop or archbishop, pastor, doctor, you, you you claim all the titles. It doesn't matter. You will dream as I dream. And if you dream and you don't pay attention to your dream and you don't know your dreams, you will die premature. You will die premature. And sometimes, not only that you will die, but something that belongs to you the devil can snatch it from you. The devil can take what belongs to you. Because you don't know. Because the Bible says, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. So if something good is coming on your way and you don't know, so that you can pray about it and you can take it, the devil will take it from you. The devil will take it from you. That is why it's important to know your dreams. Know your dreams. So today, like I said, we're going to talk about dreams. And as I, as I talk about, or I, I interpret dreams of people and relatives, some of the dreams you have dreamed before. Some of the dreams you have dreamed before. And interestingly, since we started talking about dreams, People have been bringing their dreams every day. And some of the, the, the dreams that they bring, some of them we, we have already talked about them. And people are still dreaming those dreams. I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not the type of pastor who say I'm going to come into your dream. Or that is not what I'm talking about. I'm a pastor who is helping to, who is helping to interpret your dreams for you to understand. I don't go to people's dreams. I don't have that power to go or to visit people in their dreams. That, that, that is not what I'm talking about. The only person that can appear in your dream is the Almighty God. He is the only one that can reveal himself in a dream in different forms to you. There is nobody. If anybody reveal himself and say that I came to your dream, it is just that God is showing you, showing you something about that person or yourself. Not that that person appeared in your, in your dream willingly. It's not like, Nipano Angasa at Nasano say, and I'm about to die. And I'm about to die. Say, oh, because I'm about to die. No, I'm about to die. The only thing that person is telling you is that that person is a witch or a wizard, so your bema or your before wizard or your bar or your witch. Obi biara, I obey to me. I can say, Felicia, me ba odayim, and I me ba odayim. No, I ba odayim. No, I anya se biya. We na wo son odaye. Nyango po ane yi bi biya chero. Afa ebiya odi nipa no jina ho. Afa wa umo yi bi biya chero. Ana su wo yi bi biya chero afa nipa no hono. Nase nipa na kachira wo sa Felicia anajui meba o dayim na ampa wo ba o dayim na se wo yes ah pastor nkansa ba me dayim because pastor nkansa ka so beba me dayim wa nu se sa nipa na o ka sa asem no o ye bayfo o ye bayfo watch that person carefully 
that is not the type of things I'm talking about. I'm talking about you resting your soul, your body, or let's say you resting your body either during the day or in the night, and then your soul goes out of your body and then to do his normal work. The soul has his normal business and he do or he do, he do his normal business especially when you are resting the body aye okra na wati e mo no ono o na djuma waye enti tamo waye na djuma ne ebra nipadua no e homa no na most of the time no ebra nipadua no e homa aye ebra sometimes no there is one thing we call trance Trans and it is a material or a facade, you know. Now, sir, Matunko, just in a second, twinkle of an eye, no matter many. A Juana Mecrano, a cobay, be no coach a pitcher, a coach on for you, be no the Ababa Trame. So, um, an answer, what da, so what da, a via, an answer, what da, and a joke. Our body no air relaxing because during the day, look at what I'm doing. Me fi hapa, me kotuka, me kowe, me kowe, it's you know. Me be fear my breath, I'll say me be relaxed body no. You may relax body no pa na okra no so so a free mu no no so yana juma. Now most of the time so okra no ye juma. Aya o fa o file okra no o file. Ah o niama o ba yani se se ya nin da chini na e wum. Let me tell you. People who have vision, they write their vision down. Okay? For instance, in America here, there are forest and reserve places. And do you know, they have all these things in their plans. In their plan. Local government had plans for all the forests that in the future they're going to do this year, they're going to do this year. They have planned like 50 to 100 years ahead. The same thing with the soul. And also our plans for what? For the next 50 years, you know, our plans. And we need plans and so on. Uh, and he knows what you did long time and he knows what you're going to do because that is his life so when you dream sometimes he shows you things behind you and sometimes things ahead of you and those especially those that are imminent things that are going to happen soon sometimes he can show it to you okay a lot of things the soul show to you in dreams when you are going to face any challenge be careful because this is what the devil is planning concerning you the devil want to cause an accident in your life. So be careful. Start praying and fast. The place that you say you, you, you want to go. Don't go. Postpone your traveling. Because some sign. Oh, you wanted to travel and you dreamt and then you saw a terrible accident. Then you wake up and you know that you're going to travel and you saw a terrible accident. What do you want to do? Would you continue to travel or you will just pray and say, let, let God guide me or speak to me when as you travel. You see, a lot of people have disobeyed what God has shown to them in dreams. And 
they end up dying or dead. Nkofu bebre, anko wamo ehu, anase wamo esori jinae, anase wamo nya kwa nchirefa, wamo dreamu, wamo dreamu ye huwa, anko wamo angu. There are some people who died and if they had interpretation to the dream they had before, they will not, they will not die. A lot of people's marriage are corrupting. And if they have interpretation of the dream they had, I'm telling you, there will not be or there will be a minimum of divorce. There will be minimum of divorce. Because, let me tell you, 90% of divorce that you see, it happens in the spiritual realm before physical. Before a husband and a wife start fighting, the devil has already seen it. Or it is the devil who started it in the spiritual realm. This is the one who is And the one who is the one who is we got, you just be very careful. Last time, we were speaking from the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 17. I think verse number 14 was saying that the beginning of a quarry is like a drop of water. So stop it before it becomes big. And so in Susu, and I'm in Suo to Infitias here, and I'm in Toka, and Tokan Infitias here to say in Suo Anoto, into a Hamumunya, and a Jai. Prevent it before it happens. That is why you need interpretation to your dream. Let's start. Let's start with people. Woman, maybe we may not be able to go through or everything today. So we will continue another time. You see, I'm trying to do dreams at least one or two times a week so that it will not become too much because too much of everything is bad. Maybe I have a dream I say, I will say, I can be before I count. At least one or two days, we will talk about dreams. Now, let's go on. You dream and you see a woman. I say, you dream, you see a woman. Any woman, whether it's your sister, your brother, your girlfriend, your wife, you dreamt and you see a woman. Oh, yes. Some people can say, oh, I dream and I, and I saw a woman carrying a basket. I saw a woman coming towards me. But you don't know that woman. You see, you don't know the woman you saw in the dream. So when you dream and you see any woman, any woman, whether... She's an old woman or a young woman. Okay, if it's an old woman, it will, it will have a different interpretation. If it's a, a child, a girl, it, it will have a different interpretation. If it is a young girl, it will have different interpretation. But in general, in general, when you see a woman, what does it mean? It means a stranger. A stranger is coming in your life. So you got to be very careful. A stranger can be an arm rumba or somebody who is coming to, to trick you. Today, a lot of people are doing so many things. So stranger, I say, in general, when you dream and you see a woman, it's, it means stranger. And stranger can be anything. It can be anything. Or that person can be anything to you. A stranger who is coming to help you or a stranger who is coming to kill you a stranger who is coming to destroy you. So a stranger means stranger. Woman means woman. Okay? Then, that same woman who is a stranger stands for a spirit. 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 Either good spirit or bad spirit. So when you dream and you see a woman and you don't know who the woman is, you got to be very careful. You got to be very careful. It means 
a stranger is about to surface in your life, appeared in your life, strangely, strangely, okay? And I say it's a spirit. What kind of spirit? It could be a seducing spirit. Seducing spirit. When him seducing spirit, do your bar, and now your bema. Now soon they now who your bar. A seducing spirit. Should I say? It does. I say we your bar now who who soon they who your bar Maybe we be bar a bra bo me stranger. We be maybe bar a bra bo ma ba be dada o. Because we know that to our be far kwen be so a de fe de fe kwen be so. I can say some be a be ma o who a bar o so. You need sex. Seducing spirit. No, I be seduce you. Say what? No, I be there. I be seduce you. Now I know other. I know the mfahu. We are soft. We are ordinary person. We are educated. When you are educated, you got to be very careful. When you dream and you see a woman. Because it doesn't matter. Hey, we are so for my mule. We are so for papa. Be very careful when you dream and you see a woman. It can be something dangerous that you don't know. It can be somebody coming in your life trying to trying to uh, move you to do something that you are not ready to do. Okay, so I say it's a seducing spirit. When you see a woman, I wanted to sometimes I want us to find the, the right meaning of words. The right meaning of words. Uh, okay, I don't know why always I need more light and I keep my lights away from me. You see, okay. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. So, a woman means a stranger, seducing spirit. Some people don't understand seducing spirit. So, let me go. I just want to go to the level of everybody to understand what I mean by seducing spirit. Seducing spirit, seducing spirit or seduce. To seduce means, to seduce means, to lead astray, as from duty, or let's take it, to lead astray, or to persuade, to persuade, and that include to have sexual intercourse. That is what it means, seduce, uh, seducing. If somebody wants to seduce you, okay, Lily, he will do everything to make you feel that yes you also want to do that either today you know people are doing a lot of seducing things on social media they send naked pictures pornographic pictures to people that will eventually seduce them because if you are a man and you constantly see a naked woman see a naked woman you see that picture you see is trying to seduce you to do what you are not ready to do if you are a woman and you constantly see naked pictures of another man you see that naked picture of another man is trying to seduce you to have sex sex that you are not ready to do you see, but because you, you, you saw that picture, that is why it has prompted you to do something like that. So, if you just join me, we're talking about dreams of people, and we have started with a woman. So, when you dream and you see a woman, I'm not talking about the woman you know him, the woman you know him by name. When you see a woman, you know him by name. That is different. Okay? I say, That is not what I'm talking about. But 
Say who soon I know who a bar wouldn't even know. Oh, because people dream and they see woman. They see woman. Oh, me me who woman be me so oh you're not there and I do it. Day be I'm so na ma me be me wish ma me be what done in the chair her me. But me who na nim. But you know she is a woman. But she didn't turn her face for you to see. Or her face was covered. Or the woman was far from you. So you couldn't identify who that particular woman is. So I'm talking to you about your dream of a woman. So when you dream of a woman, I say in general means a stranger. Or a spirit. And normally that spirit is a seducing spirit. It's a seducing spirit. That spirit is a spirit of temptation. Spirit of temptation. Somehow, some way, there is going to be a temptation in your life. So, God is showing you to be careful when you are dealing with women from that time or when you are dealing with men. You got to be very careful because tem temptation is on the way. Or deception. I've already talked about deception. You see, or trying deception comes from the word deceive. Someone is trying to find a way to deceive you. So when you dream and you see a woman, it's deception. Deception is coming. It that deception to sway you from your belief. Maybe obi de a trunchira chira krumpo neba a trunchira chira is a way of deception. Today we we are hearing and we are seeing false people deceiving people on the social media. You see, and it can be shown to you in a dream as a woman. So any false presenter of Especially the word of God, stand as a woman. Stand as a woman. Because he has the spirit of deception. Deception. And then, let's see another one. When you dream and you see a woman, it stands for witchcraft. Sometimes. I'm showing you different levels. Sometimes that woman is a witchcraft. It's a witch. It's a witch. But also, it depends on the level and the woman you saw. What was she doing? May tell you also that it is God's messenger. That woman that have said all this thing about her, depending on how you saw the woman, can be God's messenger to you. It can be God's messenger to you. So, you got to be very careful. That woman can be yourself. Sometimes. Let's read the Bible from the book of Luke chapter 13 verse 21. I say, when we talk about dreams, we need to prove it. Luke chapter number 13. Okay, let's start from Proverbs first. Proverbs, go to Proverbs. Chapter number 2 verse 16. Luke chapter number 2 verse 16 says to deliver thee from the strange woman to deliver thee from the strange woman even from the stranger which flattered with her words you see a woman who comes to you and says sweet words you see you know today I always say the word that God used to save us is the same word that people are using to deceive and to seduce people. You know what that word is? I love you. I love you. You see, I love you. And uh, Anka, there is nothing wrong to tell a sister or brother I love you. Because love must be without condition. And to tell to tell Esther that I love you doesn't mean I want to sleep with Esther. There is a genuine love from God. That is called the agape love. 
There is genuine love. So if I say, Evie, I love you, that doesn't mean I want to have sex with you. That is why I say I love you. God has genuine love for us. But what I'm saying here is that you got to be very careful when you dream and you see a woman. But excluding oba din, oba din that is not what I'm talking about. Okay? If you know that woman you dreamed about, that does not fall under this interpretation. But if you dream and you see any woman that you don't know, you can't see her face. She show you her back. She was far from you. That woman is a stranger, means a stranger is coming in your life either to seduce you, either to deceive you, or either that woman has the spirit of witchcraft. So you get to be very careful and start praying and fast. If you can fast, start praying and fast. Because you don't know what is going to happen after that dream. And, you, and I said, dream, some dreams has long-term plan or long-term program for you. And some dreams has short-term plans. Evie, if you are on, let me see if you can uh, connect with me, Evie, and talk about dreams. They say, I can't, my dream song, if you are another dream. But before we go on, I see Evie is on. Let's see if she can, she can talk to us. Oh my God. Okay, Evie. Evie Nyanksen. I think she is not on. Let me try again. Oh, okay. Evie is not available. Who else is on there? Lily. Let me see if Lily is available. Lily. Lily. Ah, oh, Lily is available. Let's see. Let's see, Lily. Lily, accept your video if you are there. Let me see. Okay, Lily is not available. Let's see, Brother Seth. Brother Seth, if you are available. Brother Seth, before we continue. Brother Seth, are you available? Uh, it look like. Brother said it's not available on his video. Okay, no problem. Let's continue. Nobody is available. Bernard Tewa, Bernard Tewa, let me see if you are available on your video. Bernard Tewa, why? Yeah, you say yes. Then I, I'm, I'm calling you on your video. Can you accept it? Let's see. Who say yes? Lily, I called you, but I didn't see you. Okay, we're talking about uh, dreams. Why? Nobody is picking up video. Okay, let me see. Lily, let me go back to Lily again. Pick up your video and let me see. Okay, Lily. Okay. Joseph, I know who are bad. And you pay for, pay for, and all done. Who are the actual time? It is a witchcraft which has manifested in your dream. So stand up and pray and pray and pray. Let's continue. So I read to you the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 16. It says that to deliver thee from the stranger woman, even from the stranger which flattered with her words. Let's continue. Luke chapter 13 verse 21 also says that it is like living which a woman. You say we're talking about a woman. 
It's, it's like a living which a woman, we don't know who that woman is. A woman took and hit in three measures of male till the whole was living. At the same of Babia, what did America, America, Maria Wanka, Maria Wanka, that is like smell, smelling dough, smelling dough, whether it is corn dough or whatever dough. And Maria Wonka, a crabby, or bad beer. Look, look at the contents. It's like a woman, or bad beer, or the Maria Wonka, a crabby, Afra, a Maribe Bremo. See what will happen. See what will happen. Oh, okay, Lily. Thank you. Thank you. I think this time a lot of people are at work. But I thank all of you for joining me. You see, so when you see a woman, a woman who has mixed small living or small dough, small smelling dough to a bucket full of good one, it spoils the whole thing when you eat. You you feel the the, the the scent in there. You feel that mm, something is not right in the food. So when you dream and you see a woman, please pray because it stands for seduction spirit, deceiving spirit, witchcraft spirit, temptation. So in general, it's not a good thing. To see a woman. And then in the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 27. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 27. For a hole is a deep ditch. And a strange woman. You, you remember I was interpreting seeing a woman as a strange as, as a stranger. So Proverbs is throwing more light to a woman connected to a strange woman. So it's, the, the interpretation is clear here that when you see a woman, it means a strange or stranger. Strange woman or stranger. And a strange woman is a narrow pit. Narrow pit. Or bar. Or yeah, or who are winning him now? When you are dealing with Oba winning now, be very careful, men. Today, a lot of women are on the social media. Maybe we will go to when you dream and you see a man. So don't don't worry, don't worry. Okay, when you dream and you see a man, we will, we will go there. We will go there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. By the grace of God. I think you understand dreaming of a woman. Since we have talked about a, a, a woman, let's also talk about when you dream and you see a man you don't know. I know a lot of women also dream about men. And men also normally dream about, about women. In general, a woman can dream of a woman or of a man. So I have talked about dreaming of a woman Let's look at dream of a man. When you dream and you see a man, an angel, an angel, that one, that one doesn't go straight, or an angel. In general, it's also a stranger. You don't know that person. So, in general, when you dream and you see a woman, it has the same interpretation of the woman. You see a man. It has the same interpretation of a woman. That one also is a, is, is a stranger. And then that stranger can be an angel. Angel of God. Or it can be yourself. When you dream and you see a man, it can be of yourself. But most importantly, a man that you don't know 
stand for a demon. <laughs> stand for a demon. Or a person with evil intention. A person with evil intention. Listen to it. A person, when you dream and you see a man, this time, this one is different, has a, a little different from seeing a woman. I say a woman is a, it's a witchcraft. But Obama, dear, will you burn some demon and cassa? Burn some demon. That particular demon, you don't know. It's not, it's not a particular demon like witchcraft. But a demon in general. Yes, yes, Christ, okay, demon, be one, and was here, you're dumb. It's not only a witch, but a demon who has different spirits. So when you see a man in your dream, stand up and pray in the name of Jesus. Rebook him. But sometimes, depending on how you, you see the man, could also be interpret, or interpreted as an angel of God. An angel of God. Let us look here in the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 3. Matthew chapter number 2 verse 3. Hi, 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 hi. Let's see. This talks about a stranger, kind stranger. Well, stranger, sometimes we have uh, some good strangers, kind strangers. And we have evil strangers. And when they were Departed, behold, the angel, a strange man. So an angel, I told you, is some for a strange man. An angel, that is a strange man or messenger of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. You see, we're talking about dream. Oh. We're talking about dream. So an angel, a strange man, a messenger appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise. So, this is a kind stranger. He's a good stranger here. Saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. You see? The dream is interpreted. Joseph's dream is interpreted. A stranger. And he's telling him someone, a stranger, somebody, a person by name, Herod, is seeking to kill that child. So, I think uh, that is helpful. That, dreams, that dream is helpful. You understand it? Hallelujah. And God richly bless you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, another one here. Let's see if we can find another dream of interpretation. Amen, amen, amen. Let me see in my nose. The next on the list. So we talked about a woman in a dream. A man in a dream. It's all about people, right? It's all about people and relatives. Okay? So we will come specifically to people by name or people like relatives. Now, let's look at this. When you dream and you see witch, witch or witchcraft, witch. Okay? You see a witch. It means control. There are some people who dream and see witchcraft spirit. They see witchcraft. They see baye. You can't believe people dream. Oh, people dream, Papa. I'm telling you. You don't know what kind of dream people have or they dream. 
Some people dream and they see beye, beye, witchcraft or witch. And that which you saw in your dream means to control. To control. Maybe something is about to control you. Maybe somebody is controlling your life. Maybe there is a spirit that is controlling your life somehow. You know, some people that drink, they don't just drink. It is something that is controlling them and influencing them to drink. People with anger. People with anger that they can destroy things. You know, some people are, have anger to the point that when they are angry, they can destroy things. It is something that is controlling them. And, and people like that, they normally dream of seeing witch. It doesn't mean that you are a witch. -o. It doesn't mean you, the person who has been seeing witchcraft, is a witch. But it means that you are being controlled by a witchcraft. Oh, yes. So if you are being controlled by a witchcraft, one day if you are not careful, you see yourself joining them. So when you dream and you see witch, it's an evil influence. Evil influence or evil intent or evil intention that someone has for you. It also means seduction, the spirit of seduction. It also means submissive wife. Hallelujah. Especially it's very, very important, no matter who a woman is, it doesn't matter how rich you are, it doesn't matter how educated you are as a woman, it doesn't matter how beautiful and how you think you are more than your husband, you are not more than your husband, you get to be submissive and be respected. I said, you shouldn't be a rebellion wife or a rebellious wife. A rebellion or a rebellious wife. You see, when, when we come to marriage, a lot of women don't understand women, uh, marriage. When God created a woman for a man, he said a woman should be the man's helper. Help. The man's help. Somebody who is going to be an assistant. He didn't say the woman is going to be the man's detector or the man's manager. So women, that is why you can't get married. That is why men, some men can't stay with some women because they want to be the manager, the boss, the head. And the moment a woman reacts to be the boss, the head in the house, trouble starts. Trouble of marriage start. And when the devil want to separate marriage couples, he he's try to influence the woman with the spirit of arrogance. What they are homosexual about? Etia etia ni kum. Ningi na bonsam na yo. Ningi na efa odayim, but you don't see it. Efa odayim ne ba e. The devil tried to influence you to be rebellious against your husband so that when your husband says this, you will say something different. You don't respect your husband because you think that you have more money than your husband, because you think that you are more educated than your husband, because you think that you are very beautiful than your husband, or you come from a a very rich home than your husband. So you treat your husband as trash. You know, some women, they don't, they don't specifically say something bad to their husband. But their action, the way they will react, shows that they don't respect their husband. Shows that Satan is using them against their marriage. It happens in dreams. It happens in dreams. Be very careful. Honor your marriage. 
when the Bible says, honor your marriage, it, it, it is not only referring to you going for another woman or another woman and sleep on your bed, but the way you treat your wife, the way you treat your husband, very, very important. relationship It is because of all these dreams that I'm interpreting to you that make all this confusion and problem happens in relationship and marriages. So when you dream and you see which, be very careful, stand up and pray. It's an evil spirit. It's a seduction spirit. It's a rebellious spirit. It's a spirit of slander. It's a spirit of slander. I don't know where it is. Now, I can do I could do Hong Kong much Robi. We know continue. We can do Hong Kong much Robi. That is an it's a rebellious spirit, slander. The spirit of slander. It's like we be doing what now a day knife our wall. It's very dangerous to live with a woman like that. To live with a man like that. It's that in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Niyeme akosu wa daimu o ene happen o ya bra bomo life. So many things are happening in dreams that physically we are seeing them. Physically we are seeing those things that happen in our dreams. But because the Bible says for lack of knowledge, my people perish. Hi, Millicent. And Hagar and Kojo Ayrebi, good afternoon to you all. A lot of people I'm not able to greet you. Forgive me. Hi, 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 hi. Praise the Lord. Now, let's move on. Okay, we talked about a man dreaming of a man in your dream, dreaming of a woman in your dream. Dreaming of witchcraft or witch in your dream. Now, let's talk about wife. Wife. Somebody say wife. Wife. What about those who are not married? Then you can also say, That is it's the same thing. It's wife. Is it not wife? It's wife of someone. So I'm talking about the word wife. Either it is your wife or somebody's wife. And then I think uh, we would like to interpret that with a husband. If we're talking about wife, then let's also talk about husband at the same time. So wife and husband. When you dream and you see a wife or a husband, what is he trying to tell you? A wife... Or a husband. Oh, I close my. Let me see again. Hi, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. A crown, oh. Hallelujah. Let me put something here so that. Um... Okay, let's go to wife. Wife, wife, wife. Some people see their own wives in dreams, some people see their own husbands in dreams. Some people see their friend's wife or their friend's husband's in, in dreams. So we are on dreaming of wife. Okay, when you dream and you see a wife, it means a covenant in general. Covenant. Covenant. Covenant with who? Or it means join. Join something that is join. So if you are if you are married, it is showing you or it is confirming the covenant with your wife. Your covenant with your wife. Or sometimes <laughs> in a spiritual realm, some people are married spiritually. Okay. So it is either you are joined to your own wife or in a spiritual realm or 
It is telling you who is a single woman that there is a spiritual marriage somewhere. That is why you see a wife or a husband. Somebody's husband. It is telling you of a connection or covenant that you have in the spiritual realm somewhere. A covenant. If you are not married and you see wife, husband in your dream, it's telling you that maybe you yourself, you have a covenant, spiritual covenant of marriage. Stand up and pray. Break and cancel spiritual marriage covenant. Spiritual, whoever is joined to you in marriage, break it because you are not married. Why do you see a wife? Why do you see a husband? Break it. Or if you know that person, that wife you saw in your dream, maybe God is speaking to you about that person. God has a message for you about that person. So pay attention. Pay attention. Wife, wife could also be business, partnership, hobby, church, dedicated or involvement. Because wife talks about togetherness. So wives in general, uh, it's not, a, it's not a bad thing. What, seeing a wife in general is not a bad thing. So, in general, if you are a single woman, it can also be that God is about to connect you to your man in marriage. So, begin to pray and stop like, I don't like any petiawa, I don't like any, uh, 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 this and that. And be ready for what God has for you. Adia a double as a crampon with me a year, who says a year, depend on how you take care of it, will be good for you. Hallelujah! A mabebre abo mukun wagu, a mabebre abo mukun wagu, because mabebre yimu, and I'm in penny party say, and I'm in penny party say, because a paper or bower for the first time. Na Arabia minimum. You say, oh, Arabia manager home person may worry no. Na Michelle says, I'm a stressor and a cry, cry. I want to see. Na McCoy, the first question will be some and say, a Juma be an away. It's good. Yeah, she has the right to ask that question. I'm not saying because if you are a woman and you are going to marry, you have to you have to ask questions. So I told her, I'm a pastor. I just finished Bible school. You know, I'm sorry for no 